All right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Today is Monday, the 17th of October, 2011. Um, I would take you through the morning trades, but we didn't have any. Well, we had one. <laughs> we had one trade right here. It was a break-even trade. Um, we had a bubble here with a pullback up. We had an MIT order waiting right here at 12.05 even. It dropped us in at 12.04.75. Once price got down here, it got you know, it had six ticks profit in it. Um, I had moved my stop up to break even. And it came back and got us out at break even. And we never had another opportunity after that. All right. So far, we have not had another opportunity. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do this over again. Hang on. Let me take the uh, charts. Did you say that? I think you said that, but I couldn't hear you. I'll take the charts, and then I'll go through it all over again. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, yeah, hold on a sec. That's what my my whole weekend has been like. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, here we go. All right, now let's do that all over again. We didn't have any trades this morning. Um, we had we didn't have any any trades that made any points, made or lost any points for that matter. We had one short trade right here. All right, uh, the BBC had broken down below the box. It moved down here, and this was the opportunity right here where we had the bubble down here. It pulled back up to the BBC. We got in at 4.75. It moved six ticks in our favor. We moved our stop to break even, and that was it. We got out of break even. We haven't had another opportunity so far. There's one setting up, um, not yet. The bubble right here was used up on this pullback to the BBC, so we need a fresh bubble for that. And we're going right into a very special area right here. A speak. Yes, it is. It's a very special area. And speaking of special areas, let me just do a little, quick little illustration for uh, for folks out there. There's a special area right here too. Um, this special area was hit overnight, dropped down to this special area, and went from that special area down to this special area. Now we had a uh, one of the folks in the morning in the morning live trading session asked how to how should we handle trading from this special area down to that special area? <laughs> and uh, and what I had said at the time was, well, if you put an order on here at 12.10, 12.10.5 or 12.11, you'd have to put your risk above this swing right over here at 12.14. No, 12 so you'd have to have about four points risk on it, but it would be a 10-point trade. So it would be a 4 to 10 risk-reward ratio. Um, and it's just gotten down here to the the target area all right um that said that was that was all there was this morning for us uh we had right here on the ym the market just crumbled this morning on the ym you know it, it started out the day minus i think minus about 30 points or something like that when i first looked at it and it's down 172 right now um we came down here to this area pulled back to the bbc we could have shorted right there um sure why we didn't short right there. I know we had a, an area right below us, but um, that, what time was that? 9.4, yeah, that was at 9.43. Then it dropped all the way down here, pulled back up, consolidated, moved back down here, and now we're down below this area. So I would look for it to drop down to the area below that at this point. Um, in the morning session, right toward the end there, we had said this level right here where you, where this blue line is on the 10k chart that's the level that's got to hold for us to go down more from there and hold it did we dropped from there that was 1208 um, we dropped from there down to where we currently are at 1203 but we dropped a little farther than that down to 1202 um, but we had said this morning Dwayne had said this morning I just drew the line Dwayne said it I just drew the line um, <laughs> That that area's got a hold for us to uh, for us to keep moving down, and down we went.
from up here. It was twelve ten and twelve ten and a half, or right in there, I think. Twelve oh three, right?
Yep, about that. <laughs> it's all right. Um, we're recording all this too, by the way. Um, that is good. I think it is good on a no trade day. That's right. On a no trade day, I think this is a this is a great opportunity. Um, yeah, this is a valid trade right here. Well, let's look at where it is. It's at four seventy five, and price the weekly trading zone is down here at two. So, though we're a little late on this. Um, if we would have had our, our order here at 475, our MIT order at 475, it would have pumped us in at four and a half. That's still room down here. You know, there's still two points between here and there. So yes, that was a valid trade right there. Um, right there. I gotta make that orange because we didn't actually take it. But it is a valid trade setup heading back down to the weekly trading zone down there. This is on the 10,000 contract chart. All right. Um, using a two-point bracket on it <laughs> and Jason said I hope so because he's in he's already in and he's almost got a point profit in his trade right now um, and that's it that that is probably the best trade of the morning session right there I mean uh, using just the regular if you weren't trading zone to zone and using the normal trade setups that we go through you know, in the morning session, in the live trading session in the morning, um, using those rules. That one right there is uh, looks like a nice, nice setup. All right, we should get down. We should get down here at least to the MA1, but probably to the zone as well. All right, that's what I would expect to see a double bottom down here at least. So. Mm-hmm. Right. Daddy, how do you get rid of pieces?
got to go up or down and those are the areas <laughs> those are the areas on either side of us that it's got to go to um it, you know the beauty of all this is that anybody that's listening to this that doesn't know about these zones these zones are given to you know the Dwayne creates these zones and he sends them out either you know early Monday morning or late Sunday night um anyway before the markets open up on Monday morning and these zones are good for all week they're uh they're weekly trading zones. They're not daily trading zones. They're not hourly trading zones. They're weekly trading zones. So you get to, you know, you get to use these zones all week long, and the market, it gravitates toward the zones. You know, you can use them as entry criteria. You can use them as exit criteria. You can use them as entry and exit criteria. Um, you know, like in in this case right here, this trade here that Dwayne had talked about putting on. At the close of the morning show, where he had, uh, where he had a sell stop on, where he had a sell stop on over here, um, over here at 475, I think he had said a couple of ticks below this swing right here. You know, just working with the price action. If he had, if he had triggered into that, I'm sure he would have been looking for it to drop down here to the weekly trading zone, so 475 down to 1202. You know, that's using the weekly trading zone as a target. Um, I'm I'm probably putting words in his mouth saying I'm sure he would have been doing that, but but I think that that would would have been the case, had he uh, had he actually triggered into that trade. Um, same thing for this trade right here. You know this trade right here that I said a few minutes ago, just at 475, the same spot, with a two point bracket around the trade, you would be looking to get out at 275. But if you're going to go all the way down here to 275, it should go all the way down here to the zone, and to this support level that's printing down here. Um, and the cycle is in favor of that trade as well. All right, I'm going to stop the recording here. <laughs>